All right, let's get to Lakers Suns. Last one. So I watched the Lakers Suns game last night, and and thank God Anthony Davis came back, man. He AD did what he was supposed to do. Shot over twenty free throws, scored over thirty points. Um, played great. DeAndre Ayton came back again with a double double. Chris Paul's shoulder is falling off, so I think he's done for the series. Even if he plays, he's just not himself. And I truly believe that Chris Paul getting hurt in the series is better for his legacy than getting put out in the first round fully healthy. Because Chris Paul already has a uh, questionable playoff resume. But for the most part, it's been injury riddled. And now he just did what he normally does. He gets hurt. As opposed to being a two seed and getting put out by a seven seed, a seven seed that's not playing well together, but they're playing well enough because they have good talent. I think it does Chris Paul better to get to be hurt and and get put out in the first round just for his legacy. You hate to see it. You don't wish injuries on anybody. And I think that Phoenix is a move away, like a, a minor tweak away this offseason. And they can really make some noise, especially with the jump that DeAndre Ayton has made. Seeing the way he is, he's having his way with, excuse me, uh, the Lakers front line, one of the best front lines in the league, the best defense in the league. I, I, I think there, I think he's taking the steps. Book is definitely taking the steps. He's hitting the clutch baskets, doing what he needs to do. They're going to be a serious contender. They're going to leapfrog somebody. Hell, they might leapfrog Portland and them. I mean, they've already leap le- leap Portland and Denver as far as records go but as far as us believing in them as a serious team to um to to compete in the western conference i think they've done that lebron's not right uh there's a couple of plays where i just saw that lebron could have gotten to the basket and burst and he passed out of it i hope that he's saving it for the later rounds but LeBron isn't right. And this is not me coming on here trying to make an excuse for LeBron because I'm not. He's out there. He plays, and we expect him to be LeBron. But you watch him. He's picking his spots, and he's playing really smart basketball. But it's almost low-key disrespectful to be like, ooh, I got this shot that I can make, but I'm going to let my teammates do more because I know that we can beat y'all that way. And hopefully it works. And again, they're my pick to win a championship, but he definitely has to be right in order to get out of the Western Conference and especially to go head to head with whoever comes out of the East because if LeBron's not right, he's not getting that fifth ring. So yeah, that's all my, that's really all I got here. So I told you my blind spots, man, because we all have them. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm predicting what sweepstakes i said there's three sweeps right there that i talked about today but uh you can throw a four sweep in there too philly's gonna sweep um philly's gonna sweep uh washington like there may be a close game or two but it's gonna be a sweep there so half the series are gonna be sweeps the first round is is is, is what the first round always is we we got super excited but eh, sweepstakes heat culture overrated um the clippers they they, they just gonna get clipped Blow up the franchise. I don't know what to do because they're they're just not going to be great. And Portland versus Denver, just not contenders. And we need for LeBron to get right. All right, man. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Less than 20 minutes. Big baby out.